Russ, how did you initially become interested in this period of history? Oh, well, <laughs> I, I, I always loved history. I would, uh, you know, when uh, any old things, you know, cars or whatever, that if I, you know, it would turn my head and, and, uh, and then it, the became, then it was yeah, ships, and then it was, uh, like then it was, it was aircraft, and then like I've been messing with it, it was aircraft I launched from yeah. ships. Yeah. You know, it just sort of evolved and evolved, and and, uh, and just found those um, those stories of Sorry, you know, I, I Battle Midway and yeah. Pearl Harbor, and you know, all of them. You know, just just so just kind of so compelling for me. You know, it was lighting a, up the uh, area, an amazing kind of time. Uh, you know, a terrible time, but um, but one when when. You know, ordinary people, you know, stood up and stood up to uh, to tyranny, uh, and and I, you know, I believe you know really, literally saved the world, um, and uh, we owe them a great debt. And um, you know, this Where are we? Uh, vessel that we're looking at right now is a tangible reminder of that time. It is a a remarkable achievement in and of itself. You know, the the speed at which. Uh, it was conceived of and 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 built and put watching. into action and and watching forged stuff. into a uh, effective uh, fighting unit um, is miraculous and uh, and it's something we need to be reminded of and um, and being able to right. to look at this and and see this tangible uh, reminder of those times is really um, very powerful. And Russ is absolutely right when you think about it in terms of not only the men who built, who fought on these ships and who flew off of these ships and who kept them going during the war, but the people who built them, the shipyard workers. And in particular, you know, we look back and we think of the men and women who stayed on the home front, who through the industrial might of the United States and through the skill and the work on their own hands, built the planes, built the tanks, manufactured the bombs and the bullets, and the the yeah, Rosie yeah, the Riveters yeah. who, you know, left Should their homes 10, and showed, you know, just what they were made of themselves as they manufactured these ships. Powerful, powerful stories, and indeed it was a production that ma of this type of, you know, industrial output uh, that did you see here that helped win the war. Here we see a, a tub that has fallen off, and there is wow. a 20 millimeter anti aircraft gun, an Ehrlichan gun. Part of its gun shield is off. Uh, she's come down hard, and that could have come off with sinking, been propelled forward. Um, probably so, looking at it, uh, given where it's at, that's not as if it directly fell down. It looks like it was thrown forward. Right. 